Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Sang Yu from Cine's Labs. If you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep watching. Now for transparency purposes, I purchased this bottle full price. It was not sent to me to review. But if you are familiar with my channel, Cine's Labs is, I'm gonna be honest, at this point in time, my favorite indie house. I absolutely love his stuff. Um, Absinthe 9 is a fragrance I wear all the time. I'm just obsessed with it. And if you've seen any like recent lists like the past few months. It's been on a few. I really love that fragrance. One thing that draws me to Cine's Labs fragrances has to do with kind of the way that all of them smell. Even if they're completely different, even if they've got different notes than they are, there's like a common DNA to his fragrances which I find to be kind of very rugged and manly and sexy. Even the ones that are a little bit more effervescent and light. At the same time, I like how each of them have a unique little different twist to them. So this fragrance has uh, dragon's blood, ginger, vetiver, saffron, rosewood, and oud. What drew me to this scent, which made me buy it, was actually the ginger. I love ginger in fragrances. I think it's a unique way to add spiciness to a fragrance. It has that kind of unique kind of spicy, um, kind of zesty feel to it, that gingery bite that it has, and actually paired with saffron, I thought that could be really, really cool in a scent. I also like the idea of something kind of being smooth and woody and deep, and that's something that I've noticed in a lot of city scents, specifically the ones that I like the most. There's something about them that's kind of really kind of syrupy and strong. Even if they're more lighter, even if they're not more, if, even if they are lighter scents, there we go. Um, they still kind of have that characteristic to it that I love a lot. This fragrance did not let me down. I actually love it. I think that it smells very rich. It doesn't smell like a tobacco cherry fragrance, but it has that kind of same feel that that composition has. Cherry and tobacco I think is really sexy and manly and rugged and distinguished and gentlemanly. And this definitely captures that characteristic uh, very much. You kind of smell like you're like some sexy silver fox like in your trophy room drinking like 150 year old scotch out of like a big crystal sifter glass. I don't know. I'm really bad at these analogies, but that's what you smell like. It's really sexy. But at the same time, it's very distinguished too. And I really like it. It smells like it's thick. Like, it just smells like something you'd pour on your pancakes. But at the same time, it has a little bit of a smokiness to it, and that little bit of the ginger, the spice that it has, kind of cuts through it and just makes it smell just a little bit different, a little bit special, but still at the same time, it's really just very, very sexy. I, I, I've been using that word too much the past few videos. Just very attractive on the skin. You smell rugged and manly. Like, it just smells good. So the scent has really nice performance. Um, it lasts on my skin for about, I'd say like four to five hours. Not a crazy long amount of time. But the performance that really impresses me has to do with how it sits on the skin. So it's, it's not a loud scent and it doesn't leave a trail. But the amount of atmosphere that this has around you is impressive. So this is a fragrance that I'd say doesn't really reach too past your fingertips, but it is strong, and I mean strong on the skin. So people are gonna walk up to you, and this happened to me. <laughs> people are gonna walk up to you, and they're gonna be like, oh, what smells so good? Like that's, but it's like, it catches them off guard. It's really funny, it happened twice. One, two, I think my mom? I don't remember if it was my mom. Or then also like a stranger, I think I was grocery shopping, and somebody had like walked past me, and they kind of were like, like you smell good like I actually got a compliment from this fragrance and I've only had it for a few weeks so that's saying something considering it's in the middle of COVID and social distancing and we're all wearing masks so that's a huge like you know like random stranger comment so I was actually really impressed with its performance because sometimes you don't want things to be super loud but at the same times you want them to be noticeable so this is one of those fragrances that doesn't have a huge um amount of cloud but it's very dense and i would say that's pretty much a great way to describe the scent it's a very familiar composition but at the same time the complimentation uh the composition is very complimentary it's very manly it's very rugged it's very smooth it's very sexy it's very alluring it's very easy to wear and it's very easy to understand while at the same time that little added thing from ginger i think makes it fun and it doesn't have a huge amount of like uniqueness to it but it's got enough attention grabbing details to it where it's going to draw people in and that's what i really enjoyed about it so 
Um, that's my review of Sangue. I can't say uh, Portuguese. I think it's Portuguese. I think it's Portuguese for blood. I'll have to remember. Um, but I did my best in pronunciation and with this review. I do hope you guys like this review. Um, I, again, wasn't sent this, but I'm a huge lover of Cine, so that's why you hear me talk about that brand so much, but in no way was it sent to me to review. I just thought it would be fun to bring you a review of this fragrance. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking in circles. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.